winter months are a great time to get some cleaning done, get some crafts done, get some just little tasks done around the house and get ready for garden season. So today I'm just gonna bring you along as I get some things done homemaking. Starting off the morning making some sourdough sandwich bread. This is something I do once a week. I make two loaves for our family for the week and we use them for breakfast, for sandwiches, for french toast and it's just a great recipe. This is from Lisa on Farmhouse on Boone, her recipe for sourdough sandwich bread. I have altered it a little bit. I use a mix of einkorn flour and white flour as well. And so it's not always just a beautiful glowing loaf when it comes out because einkorn flour is more dense, but it still tastes great. It's got more nutrients in it with that more raw grain. So I am making that up to let it rise throughout the day. So I always start my bread dough in the morning. That way I can bake it at night and then we'll often have it with our supper too. So it's just mixing in the bowl for 10 minutes till it pulls away from the side and then I let it sit for eight to 10 hours on my countertop. Now it's time to do some unwanted tasks like paint touch-ups. So we put a new cover on this outlet here, whatever that was, and it was a different size. So it was finally time to touch that up as it had been months. So winter is a great time to do those things that have been put aside for when we're outside more often, like paint touch-ups that are no fun but need to get done or scuffs that happen from little kids or dings from furniture moved or those type of things which is what happened here by the piano in between my kitchen and where my piano sits. I did have to make an Americano as well for the morning, so I had some fresh hot coffee to help encourage my um, homemaking and motivate me to continue, and that's just a treat I always enjoy every day. been putting this off and making it is my stretch mark cream actually and so I did this with my two previous pregnancies it's just shea butter cocoa butter coconut oil then some um, I'll just put the recipe in the description box too or a link for it and then I add some lavender oil vitamin E oil and um, grapefruit oil and I just Rub it on the certain areas that are prone to stretch marks and it seemed to work. I don't get a whole lot for stretch marks being pregnant and so I hadn't made it yet at all. So it's definitely time since I am about 24 weeks along when you're seeing this and so I just needed to get done and a task I had been putting off and so being inside it is time to make it. This task I have done a couple times already because I have ordered several different packs of seeds and so I've started reorganizing my seeds and getting ready for the seed starting process which will be here in early February honestly where I live in South Dakota so I like to make sure I have everything I need check off what I don't have which I think I honestly have everything by the time this uh, is being filmed and so I'm really excited to get seeds going in about two weeks with my broccoli and onions because they take the longest to get started and snapdragons as well and I will definitely have flowers which I'm so excited about and it's just kind of a way to get me inspired for springtime and planting and getting ready for garden season which will be a tricky one this year as I am due when I usually plant my garden so we'll see how that works but winter time definitely the time to go through your seeds get your soil ordered make sure you have your seed starter trays make sure you know when you need to start 
each seed so that you are not behind because I think it's going to be more important than ever as we continue our homemaking and gardening to be able to um, use our own seeds and seed save and get our own seeds started. This task is so daunting to me but I often put aside oiling my countertops it's supposed to happen once a month because we do not have a seal on our butcher block countertops it's kind of the raw butcher block countertop so we have to maintain it with butcher block oil and so it's supposed to happen once a month I'm pushing one and a half months maybe two and it definitely needed to happen along with wiping down my um, tile backsplash because these tasks Ugh, the kitchen just it's lived in and used and it gets splatters and dirty and the butcher block starts to fade so all these things need to be done it's just little things i had put off that honestly don't take a whole lot of time and it's actually very satisfying to do because the counters just glow after i oil it and so i don't know why i don't just put it on my phone or on my planner to do this once a month. So maybe that's a goal I should have for this year too, is to keep track of the to-do things that are a maintenance of the home. thrifting recently and hopefully you got to catch that video but I found this picnic basket for about seven dollars in an antique store and is replacing one that got broken so this had been sitting around for two or three weeks and it was time to finally put it in its proper place so I can store more toys or leave it empty for now and so it just needed to get done and again one of those things I put off but that being inside in the winter months is great time to do it although I do have to say I did open the windows on this day because it was about 30 degrees and the fresh air just smelled so good getting creative I have been wanting to do a gallery wall somewhere in my home I'm still not a hundred percent sure where but I think it's gonna be a gallery wall of some family pictures I printed some black and whites just off of walmart.com and have been looking for frames at thrift stores antique stores wherever that I like someone some um, frames that I've even had on hand and just figuring out where do I want to put this, where will I enjoy seeing this, um, and what area will it look great in. And so just getting a little bit crafty, adding some paper behind some of the pictures, and just thinking where, where do I want this. So hopefully you'll see that where I put it eventually, not in this video. Alright, back to the sourdough. It has risen for the day time to make my two loaves. So I do often put some flour on the top so my hands don't stick so bad so I can separate it into the two loaves, but I just kind of fold it a couple times to make smoother tops for my bread loaves. That way they're not really rough and aren't cracking so bad, but it's a very simple recipe. And I think that this is almost a no-fail sourdough bread recipe if you're looking to start. It's no need basically other than me folding it here and I just put it in my two loaf pans that have some parchment paper in them. Let them rise a little bit longer, an hour or so, then bake it at 
375 for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes till the top is golden brown. And using the einkorn flour, it gets more brown sooner just because it is a wheat flour. But oh my goodness, this bread, I love it. I eat a lot more bread than I used to, but I feel good about eating this bread being an einkorn whole wheat bread and sourdough. So getting those tasks done today, doing some indoor homemaking during the winter and preparing for the garden season.